Oh my god, it worked. TV slash Sassy Swirl. <laughs> Come join the chaos! <laughs> I. Oh my god. Yes, I was filming a TikTok. One, yes, I was filming a TikTok. Two. It worked. Clearly. Let me just turn on a light. Get some... I look like I have a child's face. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh... I'm live. Holy crap. At least that worked. Don't fucking strobe. It's gonna, if it's, you know, if it's gonna do that. If it bothers people, d tell me. Because it doesn't bother me anymore. Yeah, so. Um. <laughs> Two things. Uh, first, I'm gonna turn the volume of the music down just a little bit. Second, I'm gonna plug in my uh, funny earbuds. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna turn in my funny earbuds, turn down the volume on my computer, because it can get quite loud in here. Whoa, who's happy with the stream? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, do be me. Uh, I have to con. I just realized I have to configure um my chat settings again. Oof. Uh, no, not the, the chat set. Like where the chat is. Or I could technically just do that and be fine. Eh, whatever. Like, right there works. Come on. Ding. Yeah. That, that works. I should turn my microphone down. I am peeking. I should also... I should have a better mic, but... You see, I just dumb poor. Now, if you're wondering what we're drawing today, we are drawing poison ivy. Um, I have this little mini figure of her. I don't know if you can. I don't know if it'll focus. But I have this little mini figure of her. I'm not drawing the mini figure specifically, but I am drawing. Um, I'm drawing poison ivy. She is a queer icon for me. She's pan icon. A picon, if you will. You know, kind of like a, a, a daikon fruit thingy. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I might change, like, like, I like the face. I like the, this frontal bit of the hair, but I think I'm going to change that all. Not just cause like, like I like the shape, the, the flow, I like that, but I want, I want it to feel luscious like a bush. Yeah, I feel? Like, I guess this gives bush vibes already. Not the president, with the foliage. Get it? So I guess I can just, I'm gonna come over here, I'm just gonna... Actually, I could just connect some lines and then make some lines, right? Yeah, I think I could do that and be just fine. Poison Ivy, top five female tells. 
Uh, I mean... I mean, yeah, I mean, okay. I definitely have, like... I have a thing, okay, so... Before, when you would ask me about what do I prefer, DC or Marvel, I would always say Marvel, because it's what I know. The Marvel movies are very much amazing. Um, and, you know, the comics from what I've read, like, Spider-Man is out there. It's great. Um, as, as for DC, I never knew until I started dating a certain person. And I read some of the comics, and I, I haven't read many Marvel comics yet, but I do think, like, DC's storytelling, at least in terms of the comics, and, like, their lore, and the fact that they're they already did the AU stuff. Like, I think... I don't think they're, like... Their movies have been shit. Wonder Woman... The Wonder Woman 80s movie was fucking terrible. That was an ass of a movie. It played, like... It missed the 80s as a time period. Like, it completely missed it, and I'm so mad about that? They didn't have, like, smartphones in the movie, so at least they did something, right? But, like... Okay, so, like, also, I have a few dilemmas with this piece already. Just with me and my own art, I can do this and be really critical and, like, know what I mean. So, I definitely want, like, vines on her or something like that. Like, more vine details, but I want, like, the baseline art done because I want the baseline art done. And after that, I'm gonna sketch out. Like, I'm gonna sketch out where the vines should be and where we have that... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but I'm gonna do my best. Apologies if I get it wrong. Luna Oa, thank you for following. <laughs> I'm terrible with names. If you have another name you want to go by, please let me know. Tell me your pronouns. Tell me everything about that. Make the veins into tattoos. That's a good idea if I was doing, like, um, you know, if I was doing Pamela, uh, Pamela? Pamela. Pam. I'm just gonna call her Pam. If I'm doing Pam as Pam and not Poison Ivy. Because keep in mind, Poison Ivy can literally control foliage. She is not as powerful as Swamp Thing. She's not as powerful as Swamp Thing, um, clearly. Also, the DCAU making Swamp Thing kind of dumb. You know, like, Smarts wise, terror, like just dumb. Making him dumb is like, no. <laughs> um, well, at least they made him really dumb in the uh, Batman Harley Quinn animated film, which is a very good animated film if you want to watch it. It's actually hilarious, and, and of course, Dick is in there, so. Do I like Dick the best out of all the Robins? He's funny! But no, I, I like them all for different reasons. I'm not gonna do any spoilers, or at least try not to. But yeah, I, I've been watching a lot of, of DC thanks to my lover. Do I know more about Marvel? I know more about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I do not know that too terribly much about the comics, other than I read some Spider-Man. What? What do you want from me? Um, actually, so I love Doctor Strange because I love that kind of stuff and the mystics and all that. Same with WandaVision, except like, I like what they're doing where they're like, oh, Strange can get away with it because he's a man, but once a woman is involved, <gasps> yeah. So I'm just, I'm not going to show you my Marvel figurines because we all know I like Spider-Man. One of them is a uh, Hobo Strange. Actually, I'm gonna show you that one. It's 
so, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, let me go into Streamlabs so I can see what I'm doing. So, here is Hobo Strange. He's very nice. I keep some of my figures in boxes. Not all of them. I can literally, like, show you my Harley Quinn as Robin, which is out of the box, but I, I do still have the box. We love her. We, we truly, truly love her. Um, so that's Hobo Strange. So, I was at GamerCon. Like, I go to conventions a lot, clearly. Um, I'm a big convention goer. <laughs> and, um, my, my, <sighs> this is gonna sound terrible. My favorite DC hero is kind of, um, it's not Batman, it's not Wonder Woman. I love all of them. I love their stories. But I especially love Static Shock. He is one of my favorite heroes. I love how he gets his powers. I love the way that his story is told. I love that he's a person of color and they did that correctly. They, they tackled a lot of stuff in his show. A lot of deep stuff. They tackled that. They, they tackled school shootings in that show. Trigger warning for that specific episode. Um, but like, holy crap. This show for me was amazing and revolutionary. I guarantee you to a lot of people it's nothing to write home about. But I really, really loved it and was really invested in it the whole way through. Um... I love the whole concept of where he got his powers from and how he's just trying to figure out what he wants to do with it. Now, I know I took a break from drawing to show you guys this because I remembered. Um, my partner found a Barnes & Noble exclusive around in our Barnes & Noble near us for a Diamond Collection Wonder Woman. Which I don't know if you can see in there, but she- that's actual- that's glitter. She's glittery. Like that- her headband's glittery, her outfit's glittery. Also, her outfit is just really good. And you can see all the ones in the diamond collection, which... I will say... 392 looking kinda cute. Also Flashpoint Wonder Woman. I Anything to do with Flashpoint is pretty cool to me. I like the Flashpoint. I like that whole thing. I thought it was great. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're wondering what the other figure over here is, it's just um, black and gold suit from No Way Home. That's, yeah, that, that, that's basically it for the figures. It's literally Spider-Man gold black suit that came with the whole thing. So I have a whole, I have a whole set for the No Way Home Pop Funkos besides like NJ and Ned and the side characters. I have everyone in a specific set, which my partner, thankfully the the place that he worked at, um, showed him. So it's really great. Let me move that out of there. A blanket under there because I wanted to draw and it was cold. Anyway, <laughs> let me. While I'm over here, while I'm doing things, I'm just gonna. So, yeah, um, if you're wondering why my liner looks really weird and, like, sketchy right now, it's quite literally because I'm gonna go pack and do it. Like, oh, the, sh the shape is, like, growing on me, that's the thing. Where's the- ah. I mean, right here I'm gonna have, like- Veins and shit. Veins? Vines. 
Do it for the vine, not for the veins. Actually, uh, thumbs do that. Is that what I've been missing this whole time? Also, it goes into a, it goes from a straight bump down. I surprisingly lately I have not been having too much trouble with hands. Like hands have not been my Achilles heel. Too much. Which is great. Um that is not eh, hands can and can't be hands are and aren't symmetrical. Which is fine. Which is totally fine. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, can anyone else do this with their thumb? Like, I know a lot of people, like, I used to be able to, like, crack it. Like, it used to pop in and out of the thing, but now it doesn't. Because my mom scared me into not doing that because she found it gross. Like, thanks mom, I had a cool little Haha, <laughs> funny talent, and now I don't. So we're just gonna... That is... Okay, let me draw the outside line before I draw the inside line. And in a lot of iterations, I've... I've done a lot of research on Ivy, at least, and um, she sometimes, in certain iterations, she'll wear she'll wear like gloves, kind of gloves, like leaf glove type of things. Even on the minifigure, she has these like arm gloves. And if you're wondering what minifigures I have, I have Strange, Starfire. Wonder Woman, Ivy, and Harley. I just, I like the head of this Harley the best. I saw a better outfit though. Which. Did I forget? I forgot these were Legos for a half second and I was like, can't I just like remove the head? Yes, I can. So if I want another Harley figure that I like the hair more of, I'll get that one. What am I going to do with this one? It's still a pretty nice outfit. You know, okay, you know what I wish? I wish that some vendors at like GamerCon or like conventions that sell minifigures. And whenever I refer to minifigures, I mean the Lego figures. Whenever they sell that, I really like, I, I do feel like, um, that they should have like a custom one. If you like a certain body, if you like legs, if you like whatever, you should have like a little station where you could customize it. And I love that. You know, it sounds lovely. Also, her face is squished. <laughs> is this the Safi? Yeah. You know it, doobie me. How you doing, Finn? Are you are you doing okay? I hope you're okay. I know I know things have been extremely stressful lately. <laughs> but um. Okay. Yeah. Ivy's head is. It's the chin! It's the chin! Oh my god! Why is her crimson- fuck. <laughs> Why is her crimson chin looking ass over here? I really, really- oh my god, okay. Her chin's supposed to be like- that's where the point of her chin should be. And I just didn't- okay. Well, we're gonna- we're gonna do some epic- Epic line cleaning. Uh, yeah, I'm doing better, Charlie. Heck yeah! 
Speaking of ice cream, I've got a root beer float here that my my aunt and uncle took me out, so they took me to get ice cream, and I actually saw someone I knew. Like I, I saw my my old um, theater buddy, and I'm very happy. They seem to be doing well at least, which is all I could ask for. He's also like, he's just cool. There we go. Also, we're going with a rock vibe tonight because I don't know. I just want to do a rock vibe. There we go. Um, I'm gonna clean this up because I'm gonna hate myself if I don't and I'm just gonna be so confused later on. So... I actually haven't been hating like when I've been working on this normally, like this specific ID drawing, so I'm low-key proud of myself for not hating it. I uh, also mean that I was interested in enlisting when talking about the Air Force. Heck, yeah, I mean, hell yeah. I mean, yeah, if, if, you're, in, if you're actually interested, I'd say, I'd say go for it. Like, if it's what you really want to do, but like, make sure you're doing what you want to do. Not like, yeah. You feel? My mom will totally believe I'm gonna get sent to war. Good! Good. Hey, if you do action, if you get sent to war, can you like, please shoot a few bullets for me. That's all I ask. Like, all I want. I want someone to shoot a gun for me. Well, I could always go to like a range and I could do it myself. Shoot one in my honor! Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't actually... Uh... I wish I could just play the Doom soundtrack because that's what I've been listening to when I'm like, okay, it's work time. Also, I've been listening a lot to, like, Sunrise Skater Kids. I, I really like them. I know, it's a really funny name for a band, but they're really good. Like, in my opinion. They did a, they did a song, which was a mashup of a bunch of other songs. Like, ten songs! And it was really good, and honestly, like, I recommend it. It's called All the Old Things by the Skater Kids. It's really good. Uh, yeah, I, I specifically recommend that because it has, um, it has a lot of, like, recognizable stuff in there, like, in the message of the song itself is actually kind of funny. Also, the, the message of their, a lot of their songs are, um, they're making fun of certain people. You'll understand when you listen to it, but they're, they're making fun of... I want to say punks, mo mostly, and like teens and how they feel and how they, yeah. Which I'd say they're valid in feeling that way, but it's also, you have to have been one in order to make fun of it, I believe. So. <laughs> they do say some really weird stuff, but I like it. Anyway, um... I do wanna- okay, so I'm just- I was ranting about DC before, but- and I know I'm like completely just going, wee. I've got a dip, I've got a head home, ha good rest of your stream. Yeah, see you- see you, Finn. Like, please, pop in more. I love having you. I love you. My- my one- my wonderful person. That looks very positive. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The chin looks better and I'm overall more happy with it. Love you, Finn. <laughs> My beloved. <baby. laughs> okay. Back onto the liner and like back into what I was gonna say. I today I actually managed to make um I made lemon lemonade syrup 
like, so I can basically make bottles of lemonade whenever I want. So, I'm very excited about that. I really didn't want to draw ears on her, that's why I have hair covering it. But it looks weird, but like, I don't care enough. So, I also completely forgot about the fact she has boobs. Eh, I can fix that with sh My motto lately has been, I will fix that with shading. So, okay. And as for this little nook over here that I was working on earlier, but then I got distracted. I, I swear I don't have ADHD. Like, just on that topic. I do go on tangents a lot. But I swear, like, when I know what I'm talking about, I can stay on that topic for a very long time. But like, yeah. I mean, I am, I am neurodivergent, I believe. So it's like, I understand and I, I know, but it's like, <laughs> I, I don't have ADHD because I don't forget about what I was talking about, if that makes sense. I don't have an intention, like I, I can keep my attention retained on any, any given task for a long period of time. I do have my days, but yeah, anyway. I'm thinking, uh, am I, I haven't missed any important detail, so I'm just gonna, I am just going to clean this up, and why do I need to pee again? Why do I need to pee again? I need to pee. Why? Well, freaking give me a minute, I gotta go pee. Love that. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna clean up my sketch, and we're gonna. I'm just gonna talk while I do that. Yeah, you came in here to watch a person draw. Did you come in here to watch someone fucking yay? At least for the hair, you want to add lines, you want to subtract them, all that as you please. Also, I'm not wearing my normal guard because I forgot it at my at my dorm. I forgot a lot of things in my dorm. 
So yeah. There we go. Now erasing your lines is a a delicate process, I've found. You realize, you realize how many fucking mistakes you've made. And you're like, well god. Why did I make these mistakes in the first place? Anyway. Love that. Love, 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 love. Instead of live, laugh, love, just love. Every song sounds like every song sometimes. You're just doing things, eating, and having fun, you know, that's what I wanna do. That's what I do. I should do that. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of that entire section, I think. If I don't like it, I can just... Control undo. But I actually enjoyed it, so... Yeah. I... yeah. I don't know exactly what to talk about. I'm only, like, yeah. I'm only talkative when I know what to talk about. But I don't. I think that's the beauty of streaming, though. You don't know what to talk about. And for me, I have a lot of pent-up, yeah, I have a lot of pent-up information that, you know, sometimes I'll just start sharing and people are just like, shut the fuck up. Like, actually shut up. But I am glad that I am able to talk out of my ass right now. It's like... Relieving, almost? Because I get to talk about anything and any- Anything and everything I want to talk about. Which I feel like in a conversation, I can't do. Well, obviously, yeah, I can do. I can do it. I know how to communicate. But like... It's a whole situation of, I know how to communicate, and I can communicate. It's just like, I feel like I my opinions and my thoughts don't matter. And I'm just, I'm very, very happy that the people who watch my streams and watch my vlogs... Vlogs? That's totally not what I... Yeah... My VODs, everyone who watches my content, just, it makes my heart so happy. It, make, it makes my heart so happy to know that I have people who are willing to listen to me talk about stuff. And a lot, of, like, I'll have conversations with people and they do say I have a good head on my shoulders, which is a big compliment. But I don't see it ever. I guess, <laughs> for me, I guess it's just because, you know, I was bullied a lot in middle school and nobody really ever wanted to listen to me talk about, like, random stuff all the time. Mainly Zelda. I fucking love Zelda, dude. Like, I, I don't really talk about it anymore much because, yeah. And then it became, like, a whole thing, like, oh my god, Zelda's so good, oh they get into it and then I like it's all because of Breath of the Wild and like yeah that's why people really liked Zelda back when I was super into it because I was I was into it years 
years before Breath of the Wild came out. Years before the Switch came out. And I always got teased for it. And then the people, the, the gamers who made fun of me for it, were pl they played the new Breath of the Wild and they would say, Oh my god, it's so good! Like, Zelda's such a good game! And, I, and then I, I'm just thinking to myself, Wow, you made fun of me all these years ago because it wasn't COD or Halo. But I was still playing it. I just found that really funny. It's great. Anyway, how has everybody been doing? Like, if there's anyone in chat, how have you been doing? Well, I'm waiting for, like, people to talk if they're talking or if they want to talk. If not, they don't have to. Obviously, it's a community for a reason. But while you're doing that, I'm just gonna like, talk about my stuff. I'm on break, clearly. Today technically is stream stream one of a streamathon. I was supposed to start yesterday, but unfortunately I was not able to leave my bed, let alone think. <laughs> So I could not do a stream yesterday. Saddened me, but oh well. Um. Oh yeah, while I'm in college, I'm so happy. Like I'm starting to join like more voice calls and talk to my friends outside. You know, just talk to my friends more while I'm at school. It's actually kind of nice. But. God damn, people are on call a lot. <laughs> so. It's really fun. I think they're on call now. Yeah, they're on call now. That's really funny. Oh my god, they're watching children shows. I think they're watching Chuggington. I, th I think they're watching Chuggington. I'm not sure though. That would be really funny, though. Like, I used to watch Chuggington when I was a kid. But I noticed, like, now that I've gotten older, like, the TV shows that I've loved, it's freaking really funny. And, like, okay. The weirdest thing for me is that from my childhood, from when I was really young, like, I watched Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja, and I, rem I remember the episode where, um, basically, um, I think Randy, like, denied someone's, um, invitation to, like, prom or, like, a date or something, and, um, he had to fight off this really big monster and realized, you know, he couldn't beat it unless... Like, he just couldn't beat it. And something happened, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. All I remember is the ending where Randy as the ninja gives this girl flowers. This girl, purple hair, in band, gives her flowers. Um, saying that, you know, it's from Randy and that Randy is sorry because Randy's the ninja. Which is really fun. Yo, this beat kind of goes hard though. <laughs> Don't flicker. No. Fun. Oh no! <laughs> oh my lord, my 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 YouTube just died. Oh god, anywho. Um 
Uh, yeah, and tomorrow I'm- tomorrow I'm gonna go see my partner. I'm happy. I'm just- I'm happy I get to go see him. Also, I've been on call with him almost non-stop for the whole break. So. It's really fun. I also don't know where my AirPods case is, so my AirPods are just dying. They're dying. Totally. But, um, back to childhood shows. Like, I watched that and I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. A lot. Like, it was great. I had crushes on anime boys. Kind of made me realize I liked fictional characters more than real people, typically. And it, it, it just... I was just a kind of- I was just kind of a social outcast for many years. Which, looking back, I actually kind of thank myself. In a way. And if you're wondering, how are you thanking yourself? You had, like, no friends. I had some. I had some friends and I was happy. I was happy with the friends I had. In fact, most of them. But friends come and go. And yeah. Something I had to learn. Uh huh. Do -do. Also, recently, like, my jaw has been hurting from talking too much. Typically, I, like, equate that with, like, good interaction, good social interaction. But I just realized I, I literally shut up when I'm at college and I'm around people, like, yeah. The nice, yeah, that, that's the nice thing about college is I've met, I got rid of the people who, you know, some of them, they might have the similar interests to me, but, like, Maybe they wouldn't have been that good of friends, or there might have been a bigger situation and kind of saved myself from something worse. And the friends I have now, I can tell you exactly why we're friends. I can tell you exactly what we have in common. So, like, I'm not gonna name names, but for most of them, we're into like the same games, or the same anime, or we just have a love for that, and it's like, oh wow, yeah, that that's why. But I do have like the off off friend, where I get along with them because, you know, music. I did music for many years. I was in the orchestra. They're all band kids, and I make fun of them like, ha ha, stinky band kids. But they all, but they know it's out of love. We all laugh about it. But yeah. Um, but for them, it's like, oh, hi, we live in the same dorm hall. You're actually really cool. Holy shit. What you do is really fun. Really cool. Yeah. And, you know, um, I went to go see Morbius with um, a friend who we I hadn't hung out with outside of, like, occasionally seeing him, like, outside saying hello goodbye how you doing where you off to type of thing and it's because he reached out and was like hey I'm like itching to like get away from my dorm for a while are you doing anything tonight I'm like oh no I'm not doing something tonight but we're gonna go see a movie tomorrow if you want to tag and he's like absolutely and it was a really fun time we, had, we all had a really fun time but like Oh my god. <laughs> like, at a, at a certain point, sometimes it's like, oh my god, can we, like, go home? And for me, I haven't been able to stream because I actually haven't been in my dorm. Straight up. Why? Why haven't I been in my dorm? Well, 
I stay with my partner and my friend, aka his roommate. And if you're wondering why I do that, well, I want to give my roommate as much space as possible. Yeah. My roommate's great. Like, don't get me wrong. They're awesome. But, like, I've needed a little, like, especially, like, <laughs> I've needed a little emotional support <coughs> from both of them. So. Like, my, my friend and my partner, that is. And, you know, they let me stay over. There we go. Yeah. Other than that, um, my classes have been okay. They've been, they've been going. I'm in danger of failing one class because... I missed two classes, and then I have two assignments to get done for next week. Well, not next week, but like, next time I see her. And I literally laid out my plan, like, I, re I had to go in and tell her, like, my reasoning for not being able to stay, being like, listen, here's my stuff that was was done, I believe I turned it into you, but apparently no. But like, here's that stuff, can't complain, but I have to go take care of, you know, someone who is sick. Like, we're having a medical emergency. That's why I'm not in class. So. I just can't miss that class anymore. Also, my school does this thing where if you're absent twice, you get a C in the class at m maximum. Yeah, it's it's weird. I just I guess there were like too many people are passing and just did that and I'm like, "Well, fuck you." It's just and I tried to I tried to get like more absences because my anxiety does cause me to miss class but they're like eh we can't do anything with that and I'm like why they're like because you're in a different like part of the school you're in a different um major we can't do that for your studio classes because they're four hours long and I'm like I can join on zoom typically if they're willing to have like zoom But, mm, it's, it's weird. Some of my classes are weird like that. So, oof. Of course Finn leaves as I show up. Wait, wait, what? Hold on, my notifications, like, aren't working. What's going on? My notifications aren't working! Like, I didn't hear- Like, someone followed me earlier and I didn't hear it. Why are my notifications not working? Ah! Audio. Um, where is it? Notifications, here it is. Enable, enable sound. What? Where are the n They're not happening! Hold on. Let's see if this works if I do that. No, doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what's going on! Hold on, I gotta... Enable... Like, disable and then enable, then we get- Let me see if that works. Wait, no, actually, what's happening? Why are my notif- Wait, why are my notifications not working? Help? 
Wait, no, help? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm clicking on it, it's not working. None it's not working. Help. <laughs> no, like actually my my notifications are enabled. Everything is enabled. Like nothing is nothing is going. The fact Finn calls you their he he is incredibly wholesome. Yeah, it is actually incredibly wholesome. I had a feeling you two would get along well. Well, yeah. But, uh, I, I, I'm glad we do. I'm gonna quickly... Does anyone know what's happening? Like, let me see. Uh, streaming labs. Notifications. Not sounding. I did have an issue with it, like, uh, let's face it, everyone likes you- Uh, no! <laughs> not true, not everyone likes me. Trust me, not everyone likes me. I, I, I can, I can, I can tell you that for a fact. Hello? Oh my god, everything- my, my thing is taking a dick. Dick. Dick, 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 dick. Um, what the fuck? Get ready to be missed. Okay, advanced audio settings. Let me let me try that. Uh huh. Let's check that. Um. Yeah, alerts are on. See if that works. Nothing. No, like, it's not actually- I'm like, confused. I'm like, actually confused on what's happening. Cause why is it not working? It didn't work before either. And I thought, oh, maybe I just didn't hear it. Are my alerts just- is everything just off? Like... Maybe, uh... this? Here. Okay, it's there. It's just very soft. Which, again, I never properly thanked you. Thank you, Nitro, for the bits. Um. There we go. I'm just gonna. There we go. Um. I have zero clue. Um, it's not that loud, but like, also, the the rock music is pretty loud. So let me let me turn that down. So let me turn it. Let me turn the music down so I can turn my my headphones up. Yeah, there we go. A lot better. Anyway. Thank you, Nitro, for bringing it to my attention that my alerts just were not working. Um, <laughs> anyway. Back to the drawing. 
or racing lines. Yeah. Um, what was I talking about before? I don't even remember if I was talking about anything important. I was just vibing and talking about whatever. I mean, back to Ivy. Like, I really... I'm taking, like, a completely different approach to this than I normally would. Where I'm, like, drawing in more lines and I'm, like, ki I'm kind of planning it out. I know what I want to do. I have it r basically written down in the sketch draft of what I want. So I know what's happening. I know what I'm doing. I understand the shapes. I know the colors I'm using. It's great. It's wonderful. Outstanding. Um, you know. I'm not mad at how my art style is turning out in this one. Like, I'm not too, too mad with it. Which is rare for me. Typically, I'm very mad. And I'm like, hmm, it's not looking the way I would have liked it to. But that's fine, you know? I'm, I'm actually still trying to find my painting style. I don't know it. Also, like... I feel terrible because like I flubbed some paintings and now I have better ideas but that's the thing like I you know in art school I feel like I'm falling behind because I'm not doing something like creative like everyone else I don't feel like I'm being as creative and there are better ideas that I could have gone with and I didn't do and I'm mad at myself for not like doing them and that is funny enough that's something every artist I know struggles with. But for me it's especially difficult because I'm in school to learn. But a lot- I feel like a lot of my peers aren't- like, they're there to learn as well, but they're also there for a degree. Like, I don't feel like they're learning much. You know? I don't feel like they're learning anything, but I'm trying. Like, what sucks is I'm in a painting one class where I haven't learned techniques. I've just kind of been- we just kind of paint. And that's like it. No shade to my professor. I absolutely love my professor. She's wonderful. But the thing is, I just don't know how to ask my own questions. And a lot of the times the things she suggests is what I'm already like doing. Which I, I find really funny, but I know for a professor that could be like really. I, it can be like. What's the word? Debilitating? No. It, it could be uh, discouraging, that's the word I'm looking for. But it's true, every idea they're giving me, I'm thinking of. So. I'm just like, part, like, I'm trying to figure out how to be creative on my own and like, do things that would be, yeah, like, completely mine and completely, completely original to me, with my, like, with ideas and how things were done, which funny enough, a lot of people had the same ideas for certain things and I just kind of went, yay, in the other direction, which I think that makes me different in that way where I don't think of that like I don't think of a specific thing when we do a thing I I do a different I do something different I just yeah and I feel like that's the vibe of just my art and like what I do for a lot of it So it's just I I've been struggling with that lately. I've been sh I it's it's hard. It's hard, and when I haven't had any motivation or put the time into it, I can't expect it to be like good. Like to be honest, I put not much effort into like four of the paint 
four of the ten paintings I did for, for an assignment, and well, my professor really liked them and thought they were really good. You know, I they were very low effort, those four at least, and they were by far my least favorite. Well, besides, like, one, one of them was really good, actually. Because it pomegranate. Which I love, like... I love, like, taking from my old, like, my ideas in my sketchbook and just painting that. That's, like, something I like doing. But it also means I'm gonna have to start to be forced to draw more humans. Which I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like having the freedom to draw more humans. Well, I like drawing them, I just don't like painting them. But we do have to do a like self-portrait alter ego type of thing, which is what I'm- which mine is gonna be extremely stylized, because I- I need to be comfortable with how the drawing turns out before I can be comfortable with how the painting turns out, I feel. And there's- there's this really good quote that I'm think- that, um, that, funny enough, the wrestler The Undertaker said in his retirement speech. I don't remember the exact words of it, but it was along the lines of, like, never be satisfied. Always aim for something, like, aim for something higher. But, you, you know, like, never be content in where you are, you know? Always aim for something better. Reach the stars, and that's how you'll make it. Which, yeah, true. But also, be able to realize how far you've come. Be able to realize how far you've come, so you can realize how far you can go. So it's just a matter of, Keep going. I need to take my own advice, but <laughs> and just like remember all of that and like especially that advice. Yeah. That's the liner basically done. This is my general color palette. I'm just gonna add a layer where I just add a mm, opacity. There we go. Sorry if it went a little quiet. This is just, I'm trying something new. I don't know what I'm doing. So, also my throat hurts a little. <laughs> I've been talking like straight for an hour. And yeah, sometimes when I talk too much, my head starts to hurt. Go. 
much. If you're wondering about the technique I'm doing right now, I'm just outlining the erasure as close to the line as I can get before I go in with a bigger brush to just get all of the rest. I honestly like this a lot more. specific um, tactic that I'm using. Oh yeah, I don't know why, but like, um, I just remembered a, a memory of, I told a group of friends something and like a secret and one of them just started bawling and being really loud about it. She's a good friend, and she means well. She was just oh, overwhelmed. So, yeah. Like, fully get it. But it's like, I just said it's a secret. No one can know. I've also been slouching just After stream, I'm probably gonna call the love, the boy, and just like, I don't know, make some lemonade, put it in, put it in a jar, I don't know, I've got my syrup in a jar. Also, just the funniest thing is my, my dad, he, um, doesn't understand the, uh, the concept of patience, which I, I think is so funny, because I, I told him, you know, he's gonna have to wait for the syrup to become syrup for the lemonade, because I make lemonade syrup, and he's like, Damn it, just make regular lemonade. 
which I do have extra lemons, so I can try a few different ways of making lemonade. Which I did put two lemons out to decompose in my garden. Either it'll get taken by someone, like it'll, either it'll get eaten or it'll just decompose by the time I'm ready to plant. If you're wondering what I'm planting in my gar planting in my garden this year, uh, I'm doing two types of lettuce again. I'm doing my did I plant cucumbers? Oh, I don't think we have cucumbers, like cucumber seeds, so I can't plant cucumbers. I'll have to run out and grab some, or just have someone grab some for me. So, yeah. But I'm planning on planting cucumbers. I've got peppers. I've got um, got that. I've got um, I think I got beans too. What the fuck? I don't like the line. At least I don't like how it leaves a line. Also, my, I, I bought little frogs for my garden, and they broke, and I'm so mad and sad because they were really cute frogs, too. Like, these were, they were these cute little ceramic frogs, and I, if I see them again, they're, they're mine. Like, I think, like, I bought them, a, like, a year or two ago. So... It's just sad. Because I have so much of this, I can just like...
you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say, freaking love, like, you know, people who are allies, like, talking about LGBT, like, older, older people talking about LGBT, because I was, I was with me, um, I was with my, my, my aunt, my uncle today, and, you know, they took me out, took me out to dinner, all that good stuff, they asked me about my roommate, and I had to kind of explain, hey, my roommate is non-binary, so they like to be called they, them, and yay. And I, I respect that, because, you know, it's totally valid. And, you know, they were telling me about how their friend's uh, grandson is is a trans man. Well, trans from uh, female to male. And just the way they were talking about it, and just the way that they support him by, like, you know, though just the way they support him and just show that they support him, it's... It's just so nice to see after, like, seeing all the... After seeing so much homophobia and transphobia specifically, it's just so refreshing to see people who are, um... who actually support it, and... Just, yeah. Because, you know, their identity isn't hurting anyone. Sure, it's hurting your feelings, but that's a you problem, chief. <laughs> like, all I'm gonna say is the color of your skin isn't gonna hurt anybody. It's just, it's different from what you know, and it's just as beautiful. Like, I just, I wish that this world could learn some respect for others. In some mind your damn business. You know? I, I do feel like there's a lot of hate in the world and just stinky stuff like that. And I, I wish there wasn't. I really wish there wasn't, but... But unfortunately, there is. <laughs> yeah, darker background helps. Also, like, I don't know why drawing just makes me think about my family, but like, I've always been very reserved because I never thought they'd understand, and now I just like, I'm very open about what I believe and what I see. Like, especially if they ask me, like, my opinions, of course I'm gonna be like, this is how I see it. If you see it a different way, I totally understand that, but like, you know, this is what I see. And a lot of my points are just all I want, all I see, all like all I, I want is just like people to be equal to each other and just like not be dicks to each other. Like oh boohoo, you had a disagreement, like and you have disagreeing points of view. If you can't respect the fact you don't, like, you can be like the perfect match, but don't see eye to eye on like certain things. Some of those things could be detrimental, but some aren't. 
Like, would you throw away, like, a whole relationship if, like, they didn't agree with you on, like, one thing? We're different people. We don't have to agree on everything. But we do have to, like, agree on, all, like, <laughs> that, like, on uncertain things we have to agree that certain things are just wrong. can understand why they think this way. You know, we can learn the human brain and un try to understand how people think this way. Some people are just born thinking a certain way and some, some are raised into thinking a certain way. So. I should, I should definitely ask my psych teacher about like, you know, like, opinions and like people b being born a certain way but like is it mostly by their upbringing or is it mostly by their like um just how they are or is it really just a case by case situation surprisingly like relaxing and like upbeat at the same time like this specific one this 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 song is is, is nice and relaxing but like the stream is like chill it's nice it's ugh. I shouldn't be drinking this I'm gonna have the shits later I don't give a shit huh finish the um I'm gonna finish erasing this probably do the hair or start the hair and then end <sighs> I gotta say like just kind of coming back to poison ivy I haven't read too too much into on her character but I just think she's really I think she's really pretty like, she's just really, really pretty. She's a pretty woman. And I then yeah, You can just appreciate pretty women. Women are pretty, and I'm happy to be out there. Also, I like haven't busted out my drawing tablet at college since I haven't really been in the dorm, so. Okay, why? Sometimes my Windows, um, like PowerShell thing will like randomly pop up out of nowhere. I don't know if my computer is being hacked. But it like happens so infrequently that I'm like, okay, cool. I said I was gonna play Undertale today, but I just, I didn't feel like playing anything today. I just kind of felt like drawing. And that's, that's the funny thing with the schedule, like, before I go back to Ivy, before I go back talking about her, um, my, the schedule, I'll put, like, a couple weeks in advance, being like, okay, that's what I think I want to play on this day, but in reality, I only have the foresight of about a week of what I would want to do, like, stream, or play a game, or, yeah, at least, <laughs> 
In terms of streaming, I only have about a week's foresight of what I would want. So, yeah. Also, I love how I haven't had the, uh, streamathon. Like, nobody suggested anything other than, like, Mario Kart Wii. Which, uh, I might game hop tomorrow night. Tomorrow night might be a game hop night where we go, where we play a lot of Xenoblade and, like, a little bit of Animal Crossing. Cute little stuff. I mean, I use Animal Crossing as a test for most things, so we might start off with Animal Crossing in all actuality. Maybe. I have Bioshock scheduled, so... Yeah, like, technically, I have Bioshock scheduled, so, you know, just in case I feel like playing Bioshock and playing what's scheduled, I can do that. But, like, at this point in time, I do feel like playing, like, a Switch game. Because I can do that now. We. But I also really want to play that. I want to play Sunset as well. I get, but the thing is, like, I forgot the contr the controller that I use for PC games is in my dorm. Because it's an actual official Nintendo Switch controller that my lovely partner bought for me. <laughs> Out of nowhere, like, he just kind of surprised me with a controller. <laughs> Which was really sweet. And, you know, he... <laughs> To put it in perspective, um, he doesn't have, like, the best finances, but he does get money from the college to go there. So, um, he used some of that finance money on, you know, his roommate, himself, and he will sometimes use it on me. And when he does use it on me, it makes me cry. <laughs> Which, <coughs> he, um, the funny thing was, like, the funny, the funniest thing was, um, sometimes I will actually, like, try to go out of my way to make sure he can't get something for me, or, like, attempt to, like, have him not get it for me. So it'll start with, like, bargaining, like, really, are you sure you want to do this? Like, yeah. And when he won't back down, I'll just straight up put the thing back. I'll put the thing back and I won't tell him, so hopefully he doesn't notice, but, so but he'll notice typically, and yeah. I'll notice that I do this and just be like, no, I want, to, I want to buy it for you. Let me buy it for you. Which is wonderful. Also, for, for Ivy, like, her various designs are really pretty. I really want to make a pirate Ivy, because there's a pirate Batman. Pirate Batman, who's also technically Aquaman, question mark? I don't know, it's, um, I think it's an Earth-13. It's an Earth-13 figure, it's a... Um, McCarlin. McCarlin? I think? There's a really popular uh, figure that figure manufacturer. So yeah, McFarlane. Yeah, it is McFarlane.
I'm kind of glad I got into DC when I did. Like, I got to see the new Batman film with my wonderful partner, and yeah, it- <laughs> dang, that- that was- that was honestly one of the best DC films I've seen, like, one of the best live-action DC films I've seen in a very long time. That was actually, like, legit good. Had a good story, it made a lot of sense from, um, a comics perspective, especially when- when in Batman's timeline this is supposed to be taking place, you know, and it's only his second year of actually being Batman. Because a lot of people were like, oh, he doesn't know how to separate Bruce Wayne from Batman yet. He's all broody still. But that's actually kind of ingenious because it's only his second year. So he hasn't had much experience in separating Bruce from Batman. So... I don't know why saying like, oh my god, Bruce is Batman. Like, I don't know why that like feels like such a big spoiler when like everyone knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. So. Howard. <laughs> Howard. I don't know. excited for tomorrow. I have to wake up very early though. So. Am I looking forward to that? No. No, I'm not. I, I just got a cute love text from my partner. vibes of the I just like the chill vibes when it do be vibey it be chillin So yes, I, I've been to the- over the past, like, two days, I've been to the store, like, three times. Which is really funny to me. God, I'm gonna miss being here, being home, being able to do whatever the fuck I want. It just means I have to go back to work over there. Does that mean I'm gonna grind? Yeah, I'm grinding when I go back to school. Not looking forward to it, but it's gonna be done.
mega vibes at least. I love racing. I think racing is so fun. for the red. Whoa. Erase what we don't need. achieve like um a certain state of being where you're just like truly being and you're just like you're doing what you wanna you're doing what you wanna be doing and you feel good doing it 
and you're just so into what you're doing that you're like kind of tuning everything else out and you're just fully invested in what you're doing that's what's happening right now I'm like fully invested and like my commentary is just like nope no commentary mainly because like I don't know what to talk about Like, what, what, what do I talk about? Like, what I'm doing? I already explained what I'm doing. Which, I actually like this, this style of what I'm doing. I like, I like how I sketched it out. I like how I did everything. I originally, I started with a blob, blob sketch, and I just went over top of it and started, you know, just kind of doing it. I had an idea. I didn't know how the proportions worked. I used shapes to help. And bam. Digital art is great. I'm still very, very, very stressed on like... I'm like, like V stressed on like the fact I have to choose classes <laughs> and I'm not sure because yeah because I've got to I've got to do so much I well I've got to do so much and I've got to like, there's so many classes that I want to take or have to take, but it's like, they don't happen. Like, I have priority classes that I'm taking, and, you know, they don't line up with the times I'm available. So it's like... <laughs> manda my mandatory and then priority. Like, what's the difference? Well, priority is a mandatory class that's also fun that I really love and that I heard about and I want to take. Such as figure drawing. Woo! Yeah, like figure drawing. I love figures. I love figure drawing myself. I want to do that for my class because, yeah. I love how many levels of pressure you can get with my tablet. Oh, it's so nice.
gonna tell you, this is so satisfying. Like, um, if you were hearing, like, the, the strokes on the, um, on the, I don't want to say canvas, because this isn't canvas, but on my screen, because it's a matte screen, it's really nice sounding. And just a little art tip that I, I learned and I, I use pretty religiously. Um, you know, if you're, if you're like trying to draw something and you're trying to draw it straight, don't go slow. Cause look, when you go slow, it's not going to be, it's not going to be like straight. You want to go, you want to go. Granted, these might not be straight either, but you know, it, it helps. It helps make your lines more straight, it helps with all that. It's actually kind of nice. Whenever it goes, I hear Tupperware. Teetleweed. Needleweed. <laughs> Looks all nice and neat over here and just uh, it reminds me how much work I have to do over here. That's how life feels sometimes, honestly. You're just like, oh my god, I got it done. No. There's this whole thing you're missing. Weed. I 
Bubble down in the snow green to the guillotine. I just wish. I wish Brendan Yuri was a better person. He has a wonderful voice, he's just not that great of a person. Early panic songs were great. Come on, why does my phone hate me? I'm really not looking forward to this. Also, also I just realized this whole section needs a... Uh, yeah, there we go. Makes it bitter. I like, wish there was a better way of doing this. I just don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Fun fact, this is literally how I am. Like, I'll just do something that's repetitive over and over and I'm just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I just don't anymore. I really want to get this done. Stop at the hair, but it's almost two hours in, so, and I'm tired of looking at my screen. Like, I know a lot of people get this, especially with um online school. Uh, I'm gonna try to read your name. I am so sorry if I get this wrong, but uh, uh, Ku Kuruo Tal Loretsune. Hi. <laughs> uh, if you have like a shorter name that you want to go by, please let me know. Let me know your pronouns as well. That would be great. Ah, thank you for the follow. I'm just drawing. I'm, I'm drawing Poison Ivy from DC Comics. I'm, I'm a big comic person. And I'm also kind of just like, I'm a big gamer more than anything. But I think comics are cool. Say Kuru? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So how's your day? Ugh, I hate when I do that. Like, I'm like, I'm so confident and then just, pfft. nope. Nope. It just doesn't. I wasn't on re eraser. Eraser, please. Can you just, thank you. Erase, be, be a good little line, and don't. I did this to go and tap the screen. I've been on my stinky, stinky poopy, borb shit. I got, don't. Okay, that don't question what I say sometimes. Just, just we don't question what the Saf says. Saf just does. I have to. Times five. Why are you up? <laughs> Wait, whoa, why are you up? Can you just not sleep? Because if so, that's just a mood. That's a mood. I have, I have insomnia, so I get it. 
I remember. Um, I, I, I'm doing, I'm doing better than I have been, honestly. So, I, I'm just, I'm on sp my spring break for my school, so I'm very happy. We did spring break later this year. It would have been in March, but my college started later. Da -da 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 -da. I was reading a book. Yeah, that's fair. That's f I do the same thing. I. I'm I'm curious. What book are you reading right now? I'm reading Gulliver's Travels, which is really really wonderful. It's a really wonderful book. I I, I quite love it. And it's also just something people wouldn't expect me to read. I. You know, I like horror a lot, <laughs> so people are like, oh, what horror book are you reading right now? I'm like, I'm not reading any horror book right now. Let me let me read Funny Adventure, damn it. <sighs> Good lord. Can you? Thank you. I wish I had some actual water. Why does that taste like an Oreo now? It's just vanilla ice cream and root beer. Why does that... I, I don't understand. What? Hello? Okay, there we go. Sometimes my... my... Hello? Why are you not working? Please, let me, let me draw in peace, stop hitting, is something hitting the control button? No, nothing's hitting the control button. Okay. I don't understand why that was happening then. Because typically the control button does that. I don't know why, it just does. It's just mapped to do that. Thanks, Clip Studio. I really wanted to buy the $200 version of this but the $50 r version works just fine, so. In Search of Lost Time from Marcel Proust. Ooh! Ooh, that sounds interesting! French writer. Wonderful, that, that sounds very interesting. I, I really like books. I don't have time to read, typically, because of my major. Because, you know, my major is very, um, intensive. And it, it basically requires a lot of drawing and painting and sculpting and all that. So I don't get too much time to read and consume media. But when I do, I, I might write that down. Books are great, man. Books are really, really fun. Um, I have a, I have like a few books that I'm I can't wait to get to, but I have I have like a rule where I'll have one long-term book that I'll be reading. Like right now, that long-term book is um I believe twelve tell tell twelve rules for um a less chaotic life, something along those lines. That's like my long-term, and my short-term book is Gulliver's Travels. Even though it is a long book, but I, I'm invested, so I can get through it. Uh, what is my favorite book? I, that's, a di that's a difficult one. Um, that's really, really difficult. Um, my favorite book that I've read as of recently actually has been Stephen King's Carrie. Stephen King is an absolutely amazing writer. Um, last year, I had to do a musical based on that book and movie, and um, it was amazing. It was actually really fun, and I got, I got the pleasure of reading the original story, and I quite like how, I loved how it was structured, I loved how, I love how it felt real enough that it could have happened, but how it was just fantasy enough to not be like, to not have anything to be scared of. It's really great. It's a really great book. I'm also into, like, really gory stuff, so... Stephen King is right up my alley. But... 
you know, I'm I'm a I'm big on manga. I read a lot of manga. My favorite currently is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess manga because I just really like the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, also, it adds. A, I just like the Zelda mangas because they add a lot more depth and story to the original the original content that is I think canon. Like, I, I think it's canon, too, and I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of very happy about it. Because I believe this is the same artist that worked on it, and it makes me so happy. I've only read Dark Tower by C. Yeah, that's a- I believe that's a really good one. Um, there, there's a lot of Steve King novels I need to read. Um, I haven't even- I haven't seen The, the Shining. I haven't seen the movie. But it's like an iconic movie to watch. And also the 1993 um, release of Carrie. And I think there was a 2014 version of it too. That like there was a reason we couldn't um, publish the the musical online. So and I think it was because it was under 10 years that the movies have been out, so it's like well, you can't monetize it because of this. Ooh. And it's like, we weren't going to monetize it because it's kind of COVID. <laughs> so, like, what the hell? But, yeah, Stephen King is just a very amazing writer. Um, if you... If you want, like, a different... Like, if you're into, um... More sciencey stuff... If you're into like fantasy, uh, not fantasy, uh, sciencey stuff, I if you read like, um, I think like, astronomy for people in a hurry. I read that, and it's very good. It's very interesting. It kind of like, it goes more in depth of what your um, your science class probably never taught you. Uh, heck yeah, yeah, yeah. Manga is great. Um. I read the entirety of The Cells at Work Baby, and I'm just- I really loved it. I- I would love, personally, to own the entirety of Chainsaw Man, because- just because of the art style. Um, something you'll learn about me, I love art style. I hate my own, but I love art style, and the, um, and the Chainsaw Man art style is really beautiful. Like. It's just, like, gory and realistic enough that it's, like, slightly scary, but it's also really intriguing. Like, how the line weight really has an impact on certain panels and, um, how different hatching styles, like, work. Because I, I, I've been big on studying hatching styles for a little while now. It's great. <laughs> Tell me! Taggy, thank you for the 100 bits, hon. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, why are you nice to me? What the heck? We were just talking- I was just talking manga, bro. <laughs> and you come in! What? Did Nitro send you? Hold on, hold on. I need to know. Did Nitro send you? I- If he sent you, I'm going to have a word with him. It is going to be a str very strong word. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the bits. That's wonderful. Um. <laughs> um. Or, yeah. Um. Other than that, like I've finished a lot of the Zelda mangas that I've had. That I have. And yeah, I really like them. I, I highly recommend Zelda mangas if you've played the games. I sent me. <laughs> uh, waiting for Chainsaw Man anime for soundtracks. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I heard they were making like um, the anime and I'm like... I mean, like, yeah, I... I don't know what they're doing, but like, I'm definitely gonna watch it. I don't know- I know nothing of the story, I just know the art style is freaking amazing. It's like, absolutely amazing. 
And I have to I have to do an art study of like Chainsaw Man and Hades and all that good stuff. Same oh for uh Devil Man Crybaby? The soundtrack in that anime apparently was really good. And and I and the art style that for that was amazing from what I remember. So I mean What color are Pam's eyes? Hold on, what color are Pam's eyes? Why am I not surprised her eyes are green? So let me just boop. Lighten up. Yes. <laughs> Tagi, thank you. Thank you for, for the two one. Well, why? Why are you spending your money on me? I don't understand. <laughs> thank you, though. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> good freaking grief, dude. You made me good grief, Taugi. How do you feel? Oh my god, I am bored. Is that really it? Is that really it? Is that the only reason? Really? <laughs> Hold on, let me uh... Here we go. We're gonna. We're just gonna do this screen for right now. Ignore my messy bed. <laughs> Ignore the mess that is my bed. Hold on. I gotta turn off the that. I'm very satisfied with my purchase. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know what? As long as you're satisfied with your purchase, I don't care. Ignore the fact my bed's not made and ignore the tissues on the floor. Also, that looks awesome. Thank you. Um, I do, I do enjoy my Ivy. I think she looks very nice. Um, so far. I, I'm tr I tried out a bunch of different things with her, and I'm still going to be experimenting with um, shading style, with how I you incorporate shapes and shading and lighting into how certain things look, so I don't have to line everything, but I could still have like different things, it can look cool, all that cool stuff. Uh, I got paid and feel it like being irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. That that sounds about right. Well, I'm gonna end stream. <laughs> um, we are at two hours and almost fourteen minutes. Um, yeah, I've been talking my butt off for two hours, so. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna rest, I've got a long day tomorrow, I've got a long drive, and I don't think I'm gonna stream tomorrow, but I'm definitely streaming Thursday, so tune in, I might be doing Undertale, I might be drawing, or who the fuck knows, I might be playing my goddamn Switch. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, please, please tag along for that on Thursday. Goodbye, my lovely friends, and I'll see you Thursday. Hopefully, 
Yell at me if I forget. 